Welcome everybody to this workshop on pedagogy for effective use of ICT in engineering education. So before we begin with the actual workshop, uh, we'll just take some 20 minutes to set the context what we are going to do, what we expect of you and so on. So to begin with, let us see what is this area called educational technology. So educational technology, often people understand it as use of some LMS or use of some technology. Okay. So in reality, educational technology has two aspects. So one aspect is that the creation of technologies for education, which is what we usually understand as use of technology like Moodle, creation of visualizations and so on and or use of wikis and all that. And the other one is the technology of education, where the emphasis is on the creation and use of strategies for facilitating students learning and engagement. Okay, so here the focus is more on how to use the technology rather than the technology itself. Okay, so what we will be doing in this workshop is focusing more on the technology of education rather than various technologies for education. Why are we doing this workshop? Now one reason is that uh, there is a lot of emphasis in India as well as worldwide for ICT in education and everyone encourages its use, right? Your college also might be doing the same thing that we should start doing LMS, we should create MOOC. MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Course. We should use animations in our classes, use of wikis and all of that. However, the potential of these technologies is lost without the appropriate pedagogical strategy. So this is the main thing that it is not enough to just have the technology. So you may have heard of technologies like flip classroom where you record the video and ask students to see those videos offline. So in all such strategies, all such technologies, the technology itself is merely the facilitator. And what is important is the use of appropriate pedagogical strategy that goes along with the technology. So teachers need to have a knowledge of which tools are useful for various teaching learning activities and how to use them effectively. So the latter point is what we are going to focus on. Which ICT tools are useful for various teaching learning activities is still fairly straightforward to discover and learn. On the other hand, how to use them effectively needs some practice and some effort. So what we will be doing in the workshop is that we will start by articulating the objectives for your course. So what we expect is each of you will be teaching some course in the upcoming semester and through this workshop you will create and design materials and activities for your course. So that is the basic final goal of the workshop is that for your next semester's course, you will be able to use the materials and activities that you have done in this workshop. Okay. So we will start by articulating the objectives for your course. That is the primary thing because without the objectives, we will not be able to find out which tools that are appropriate for those objectives. And then we will learn how to use those tools effectively. Finally, culminating in lesson plans that you can actually deploy in your course when you start. Okay, so now let us just set some expectations, what we expect of you, what you can expect of us and so on. So like I said earlier, this workshop is about pedagogy for effective use of technology in your course. What the workshop is not about, let us also be very clear about this. So the workshop is not about learning content in a topic nor about techniques for conducting research. So this workshop is not going to talk about how to do digital signal processing or any particular topic, nor is it going to talk about how to do research in an area. Okay. The workshop is only about pedagogy strategies that you can use. So these pedagogy strategies are uh, widely applicable and what we will be doing as part of the workshop is to tune these strategies to your course. So you will be creating activities for your course. The workshop is also not about going deep into features of the technology tools. See, often we think that when we have to use ICT tools, people get into the nitty gritty of 
configuration issues and how to use, how to set up some intricate features of that tool. So once again this workshop is not about going deep into the features of the technology tools. So the reason for this is that there are studies which have established that using simple technology but effective pedagogy is much more effective than using a lot of fancy technology features without the corresponding pedagogical strategies. So what we will be doing is we will be looking at the simpler features of the technology and talk about how they can be used effectively in your teaching learning process. Okay. And the last point since this is about teaching learning often as teachers we get into this mode of uh, talking about what is wrong with our class or what is happening in our college and so on. So this workshop is again we are not going to be discussing generic policy issues. We are only going to talk about how to become more effective in our own classes. That is the only uh, scope of what we will be doing in this workshop. Okay. So this again is an important point. The question being how are we going to do that? So the idea here once again is that this is not a workshop in which where we simply sit here and give lectures and you sit there and listen. Okay, so we cannot simply listen to lectures and expect to absorb the required knowledge. So what will happen is we have to do the activities. So some of you may have seen the pre-workshop assignment and submitted it that is the first step and there are many more assignments that we are going to be having both during the sessions as well as in the lab as well as in the online phase that will happen after 3 days. So what is required is from your side is enthusiastic participation in these sessions only then there will be some benefit out of the workshop. Okay, and this is once again some standard information. So what is the workshop duration? Some of you may think that it is 3 days you know in fact we have got queries saying that can we come only for the first half of the workshop or only for the second half of the workshop. So it is not like a workshop in two halves the workshop as such is 8 weeks long. Okay. It is not 3 days the first 3 days are only the first part of the contact program and the last 3 days are the last part of the contact program but as such the workshop is spread over 8 weeks and pretty much there will be some assignment and activity that you will have to do in each of the weeks. Okay. So it will run in classroom mode for 3 days then in online mode for 6 weeks followed by classroom mode for 3 days. Okay. So it will end when you submit the post workshop assignment and only after that will there be the you know, certificates and so on. Okay. So this is just again once again repeating the information that the dates are 12, 13, 14 in the synchronous remote classroom mode. So what we are doing currently is what we call as the synchronous remote classroom. So the idea being that it is a classroom since all of you are assembled together. It is remote since you are away from us and it is synchronous because there are many such classrooms right now there are about 30 centers which are online. So there are 30 such centers which are joined synchronously. Okay. So that is why we call this mode as the synchronous remote classroom mode. And then the next 6 weeks will be online where we will be posting assignments, we will be posting material, we will be posting videos on Moodle and we will also be posting worksheets as well as assignments for you to do followed by another 3 days of the synchronous remote classroom mode where we will be ensuring that all that you have done is becomes usable for you to use in your next uh, semester scores followed by one last week of one more assignment. So that is the basic idea. So overall duration is 2 weeks which is spread across 8 weeks. So this also just as I just now said the synchronous remote center component you will assemble in your colleges and sessions will be conducted from IIT Bombay via AVU like it is happening right now and the sessions follow workshop mode with extensive interaction. So what we will be doing is that on many of the slides there will be instructions saying that participants please do this followed by coordinators please do something else. What you will be doing is these activities and we will be interacting either through floor transfer mechanisms 
or through the AVU chat mechanisms. Okay, so there are, or through the AVU poll mechanism. Okay, so all these three mechanisms we will be using in order to uh, have an interactive session in each of the uh, synchronous remote center components. Okay, so the theme of these sessions will be learn the what, why, and how of using ICT tools and strategies. Okay, so this is more or less like you acquire some knowledge. And then in the online component, you actually integrate that knowledge into your own course. So there will be one week equivalent of work over six weeks, basically one day per week. Essentially it will, most of this will be watch this video, do that homework or create something for your own course and then upload it back onto Moodle. Okay. So feedback and help will be provided via Moodle and the theme here is to create materials for your course, get and give peer feedback so that you can actually make use of this material in your course in the next uh, semester. Followed by finally there will be wrap up assignments and summarize where the theme here will be to consolidate common resources for the community. Essentially the idea here is that suppose you have created an assignment which you are making for your own course, what we are trying to do now is to create a common area where all these assignments can be uploaded so that another faculty member in another college who is teaching the same course can utilize your the assignment that you have created for their own uh, class also. So all these resources that we are creating they will be released in what we call the creative <coughs> commons share alike uh, license. So while you will get credit for being the author of that you will also be giving uh, permission to others to use your content. Okay, so this is just to summarize, overall there is a lot of participation that is expected both in the SRC and in the online mode, a lot of watching the video and doing the assignment and hopefully we will wind up creating a lot of common resources for the engineering educator community. So this is the, this is our goal for the workshop is to create a lot of common resources for the engineering educator community. Okay, so what is actually the content of the workshop? So as we will see as the workshop goes on, we start with developing learning objectives, then we go on to talking about visualizations, writing assessment questions, topics like flipped classroom, promoting student collaboration. So many of these, some of you may have heard of these terms, some, for some of you these terms may be new, it does not matter. For this particular slide we have just put it there as a summary of what we expect that you will get at the end of uh, three days. Okay, so what is expected of you is to sincerely participate in all the activities. Like we have been saying, this workshop is highly interactive and you need to put in the effort required to complete the tasks. So if you are going to be passive and simply attempt to listen to what is being said, then this workshop is going to be extremely boring. So, because a lot of times you are going to be talking to your neighbor in your classroom and it is not going to be so much of us transmitting a lot of information from here. So what you can expect from us is carefully designed in class sessions and activities. We have put in a lot of effort to make sure that these sessions and activities are actually useful to you and also that they will be meaningful when we conduct it in this synchronous remote classroom mode. And also what you can find is a lot of Moodle based guidance, so you must have already received emails from the course uh, TAs and you know other uh, uh, supporting uh, staff. So that will continue in the online phase. Essentially at the end of this workshop, you will create and take away lesson plans for effective use of ICT in topics in your course. Okay. So what you should not do? is again I thought worth uh, repeating, essentially the idea is that you do not want to sit passively and expect us to lecture. So this is the third time I am mentioning this same point. The reason being that we are not going to do much of lecturing and being lethargic to participate in the activities is a guaranteed way of not getting anything out of this workshop. Okay. So also this is again another point often we get tempted when we are encouraged to interact with our neighbors, often the instead of being on the task, sometimes we do get into topics of what is going on in my class, what is going on in your class type of uh, discussions. 
So once again we want to avoid that and simply stay on the task whatever is the task that is being given and that should be all that is required from your end. Okay. So you need to participate in the individual and group activities, complete the assignments on schedule and if you have queries you can post your queries on Moodle. So we will be having sessions at the end of each day which we call this idea is called muddy points in comes from the idea that any point that is muddy, muddy being not clear, any point that is not clear. So those points we will collect over the period of the day. So at any point you can feel free to post on Moodle or you can uh, feel free to send your query through chat on uh, AView and we will be collecting all these muddy points and in the last session of every day we will be addressing these muddy points uh, for all the centers together. And there is also a muddy point forum on Moodle which has been created or which is being created. Okay. So the important thing here again is to stress it for the last time the submission of assignments is crucial in getting benefit from the workshop. So please do take that seriously. And also submission of assignments is mandatory for getting a participation certificate. So for those of you who need that added incentive that is the additional incentive. Okay. Uh, here are some logistics. The SRC mode, SRC mode being the synchronous remote classroom what is going on right now will contain sessions of two types. Okay, so one type in which the sessions in which lectures like what is happening right now will be transmitted over a view and you will need to do the activities at your end. Okay. So at for this all that is required is what you are having right now which is basically a classroom with a projection and a video system. Then there will be some other sessions often in the afternoons which will be lab activities. So for this what you will be doing is going to the computer lab and access to internet will be required. So in this case one terminal for every two participants is sufficient. So even if there are many people who need to share a machine that is also okay. And if you have your own laptop you are encouraged to bring it for these sessions. So that uh, provided there is access to internet or Wi-Fi in the classrooms and labs where you are working. Okay, so there is one more note for the coordinators. This is essentially for uh, the center coordinators. So please make sure that participants have access to the computers and the internet for the sessions marked as lab in the schedule. Okay, which is so the first such session will be today afternoon. Today's last session is a lab session. And for the lab on day 3 which is the last uh, day in this first part of the workshop a microphone and camera will be needed so that participants can record their own flipped classroom video which they are creating. Okay. So if it is not possible to make arrangements for these resources please let us know. Okay. So yeah this is the team so these are the people who will be participating so you will be seeing all of us as the workshop goes on. Uh, I am Sridhar Iyer and uh, this is my colleague Professor Sana Murthy and she will be taking over for the next uh, session right now.